What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over three layups that every player must have. Let's get started. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna go over three layups that every player should have in their package in order to score around the basket. All right, now before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join Think Pro Basketball and all the great content we release every single week designed to help you improve your game. Now the first one we're gonna go with is a front side reverse layup, all right? This is one that's gonna allow you to score around a shot blocker on the other side while avoiding them to still be able to score at the rim. So a front side reverse, meaning we're attacking from this right side of the court, but we're trying to get to this left side in the front of the rim, right? A lot of people will think that a reverse layup is done only this way where you come baseline and you finish on the opposite side. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack and we wanna go with the front side reverse. So I'm attacking from the right hand side, but I'm gonna finish on the left hand side right in front of the rim to finish with the front side reverse. Again, you see that shot blocker coming, boom. Here they come, they're on my hip. Let me get to the other side of the rim, use the rim as my protection and help to still be able to score at the basket. All right, so this is the first finish or the first layup of three, front side reverse. Here it is in full speed. All right, Hoopers, we're moving on to the second type of finish that you should have in your game. Now we're going with an inside hand reverse. So right now, the last one we just did was a middle the front rim finish, right? So we attacked here, we attacked the front of the rim, and we finished on the other side. Now, what we're going to do, so if I'm attacking from this right side of the court, but I'm attacking with my left hand, that inside hand, which is gonna be the hand that's closest to the rim, becomes my right hand. So I get here, now I will get here and scoop the ball in with my inside hand. This is used to get up a quick shot before the shot blocker can get over there to block it. If they do, you've gotten the ball on the backboard, it's most likely going to be a goaltend, right? So again, we want to attack from this right wing with our left hand, get to the middle of the court, boom. Now when we get here, instead of finishing here and our shot block, giving the shot blocker a chance to recover and block the shot, we want to get here and scoop it up quick right off of the backboard with that inside hand. Same thing if I was to come from the left side, I'm attacking with my right hand and I'll finish inside with my left. All right, so this is the inside hand finish or reverse. Check it out in full speed. All right, Hoopers, we're gonna move on to the last layup that you should have in your game, and we're gonna go with an opposite leg finish, okay? So with this, very simple, it's exactly what I said it is, an opposite leg finish. When you attack the basket from, your right, with, from the right side, you would normally go up with a right hand layup like this, and you bring your right knee up, correct? Now, an opposite leg finish, we're going to jump, right, off of that right foot. I'm going for a right hand layup, but I'm gonna take off, off of that right foot, and now I'm gonna bring that opposite leg up, opposite leg finish. So right hand layup means my left leg's coming up to finish at the rim. If I'm on the left side, I attack, I'm gonna jump off of that left foot, right leg comes up and finish. What does this do? It helps shield off of a defender. If somebody's coming over to try to challenge your shot, boom, now you can shield the ball away with your leg, your shoulder, and extend and score over the top. All right, so this is a great move to have when you're trying to finish around a shot blocker or a defender that's coming over to challenge your finish. Put this move, the opposite leg finish, in your game so you can score more points around the basket. Let's have a look at what it looks like in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. That's three layups that every player must have 
in their game. All of them are gonna help you avoid shot blockers and defenders who are trying to challenge your finish at the rim. So make sure you put the work in and work on each and every one that you saw. Now, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave those in the comments as well, as we will check those out and try to get to them as soon as we can. After you do that, again, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join Think Pro Basketball. We're releasing brand new content every single week that's designed to help you take your game to the next level. All right, now get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, hit the park, put the work in. Most importantly, remember to always keep hooping.